I love that song that Natalie Cole did with her dad a couple of decades ago. Just wish I could remember the name of it. <music> Greetings one and all, and welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. This is just going to be a quick little miscellaneous video, just a bunch of random, well, not not so random topics I wanted to talk about, things that have happened or things that have been on my mind or been thinking about. Uh, and also, I am recording this video at night, so uh, and I don't think I've ever done a video at night before. Uh, I am a little bit tired, but not too tired to do a video. Uh, but I just wanted to give it a try to see if it might bring across a bit more of a relaxed flow, a, a laid-back sort of vibe. So. I figure, you know, it's worth trying at least once, right? So we'll see what happens here. Hopefully you will notice a difference. Uh, but anyway, on to my list of topics uh, to get the most depressing one out of the way first. Yesterday we lost a legendary entertainer, Doris Day, uh, passed away at the age of 97. 97. Can't say she didn't live a long life, right? But uh, yeah, she was better known for her acting than for her singing. Uh, over the last, what, 40 years or so, she's only recorded one album, I think. And, you know, her heyday was back in the uh, late 40s through the early 60s, I think. Uh, but yeah, I still think that she is, in my opinion, she is one of my favorite classic female pop singers of all time. Uh, she, I mean, she's right up there with Petula Clark. Petula Clark is probably my favorite. And, you know, Aretha Franklin and stuff. But Doris Day had a a really light, airy tone to her voice that was just, it was just beautiful. I mean, if you've never checked out Doris Day's singing, do yourself a favor and check her out. Uh, yeah, this is a two-disc compilation. Uh, I mean, of course, her her big, huge hit, Whatever Will Be Will Be, Que Sera, Sera everybody knows that. Uh, but my favorite song of hers was probably Secret Love. That just It just kind of has a... a subtext that I can relate to uh, personally so but yeah she had no shortage of hits sentimental journey is a great one and yeah this disc is uh, almost 40 yeah about 37 uh, songs from all throughout her career she did duets with Frank Sinatra Buddy Clark Frankie Lane uh, Robert Goulet and of course a multitude of solo songs so yeah check her out and yes um, Godspeed Doris Day we're gonna miss you but Thank you so much for all of the wonderful, wonderful songs you gave us over the years. I will be enjoying them for many years to come. But anyway, now on to the uh, next topic at hand, which is album reviews. Now, those of you who have been longtime watchers of my channel, uh, you know that album reviews have never been a staple of my channel. Uh, I've said so in my channel trailer, my welcome video, that you know if you came here looking for video reviews of every high-profile new release that comes along, you're going to be disappointed. Uh, but all the same, I still like to talk about uh, current albums that I'm interested in when they come out. And uh, I have been falling a bit behind. It's just, you know, for a month or two there was, there was like nothing. And then in the space of like three weeks, there's been almost a dozen albums come out that uh, I've picked up and have listened to and just, well, haven't gotten my crap together about uh, making reviews of on my channel. Um, one of the big things for me is it's always a balancing act between time and motivation. You know, if if you made a Venn diagram out of my time and motivation, they would intersect by just a little tiny bit. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know, so when I have the time to do a video, I don't really have the motivation. And when I have the motivation to do a video, I don't really have the time. So, uh, but I've decided that what I'm probably going to do is uh, some of them I've just dropped I'm not going to worry about uh, because pretty much all the other YouTubers out there have talked about them already anyway and I don't really have anything new to add to the conversation but with as for the rest of them what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do one video that covers four maybe six of them just you know in kind of a quick uh, rapid review roundup style video uh, but there are a couple, two, maybe three, that I want to give the full video treatment to, uh, whether it's a now and then style video or just a standalone uh, review. So hopefully by the end of this month, I will be caught up with my video reviews. And I do have in mind uh, another concept on how to do an album review, something that might help me to keep from falling behind in the future. Uh, I don't want to talk about what it is yet. I'm still really going over it in my head, the mechanics of it, the logistics of it, so, uh, but 
yeah, I'm going to see if I can make it work. Uh, we'll hopefully within the next couple of months here, you'll see uh, an example of it. Uh, if it works, obviously. If it doesn't work, you're not going to see it. So, but anyway. Uh, on to uh, other things on my channel. Uh, the interview, I told you that I had uh, recently conducted an interview for my channel, and it's uh, I'm still editing it. It's probably about 60% done, 65%. Uh, probably this is another one that uh, hopefully by the end of this month I should have it uh, posted and for your enjoyment. I want to do everything I can to make it worth the wait, obviously. I mean, there was, I think I mentioned, there was an hour and a half of video to edit through, and I mean, he's he was a great person to listen to, to sit down and chat with. So uh, what I've decided, uh, it's starting to look long enough that it's going to be, the main interview is going to be two videos, probably about 20 minutes long each. And I think I'm going to do a third video, it's going to be probably shorter, which is going to have outtakes, you know, just little, little side stories that he went on into that didn't really fit uh, neatly into the main part of the video. So... Yeah, hopefully, as I said, by the end of this month, I will have at least the first installment of that up. Uh, I'll do them in quick succession since I'm I'm editing everything into one video uh, for to start with, and then I'm probably just going to chop it in half and, uh, you know, do it that way. So they'll both be finished at the same time. I'll upload them probably within a week of each other. So anyway, that's how that is shaping up. And now on to my next topic, which is other YouTubers. Uh, first of all, I wanted to quickly mention a couple of milestones that a pair of my YouTube friends have recently celebrated. Didn't want to let these go without a shout-out, guys. First of all, Ryan over at True North Reviews has just reached the triple-digit mark in subscribers. He's uh, just past the 100 mark. He's at 102 or 103 now. So congratulations, Ryan. You've earned all those subscribers. You've got great content. And uh, one of my favorite features of his is uh, a weekly feature he does called Hot and Cold, where he... Uh, goes over the new singles of the week, you know, the ones he likes, the hot ones, the ones he doesn't like, the cold ones, and the in-between ones. It's a fun segment to watch every week. Even though I'm not a singles guy, I still enjoy watching that segment. So, anyway, yes, congratulations, Ryan. Great channel, and keep up the great work. And also, uh, probably my favorite and my closest YouTube friend that I've made over the last, what, year and a half that I've been doing this channel, Noah over at SMEB Reviews. Not only has he surpassed the 300 subscriber mark, uh, but uh, his channel is also celebrating its second anniversary this week. So congratulations on both counts, Noah. Uh, again, a fantastic channel. If any of you out there have not watched it yet, uh, he's got great content. He's fantastic at what he does. And I honestly, when I think about the fact that I almost never bothered re rebooting my YouTube channel or starting up a YouTube channel, I never would have met him. And he's, he's now a good friend. He's a, a close friend, really. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't even want to think about what my life would be like right now if I hadn't restarted this YouTube channel. So, anyway, congratulations, Ryan and Noah. You guys have earned uh, where you're at right now. And ho ho I hope to see your channels keep on growing and growing. So, congratulations, guys. Oh, yes, I'm starting to get a little bit tired. I'm starting to lose my voice, so, but the video is almost done here. So, last thing I wanted to talk about was a couple of neat YouTube videos I recently happened upon. Uh, there's a YouTube channel out there called Channel 33 RPM that I just, just discovered, just came across recently, and the video that caught my eye is called the 50 Album Challenge, and it's uh, basically you take 50 albums that you haven't listened to in a long, long time out of your collection. And you listen to them, you know, to just kind of break yourself of the traditional, you know, the routine of your heavy rotation albums. You know, just go and get stuff that is in, has been sitting collecting dust and listen to it. And, you know, just force yourself to listen to stuff uh, that has not been in your rotation recently. And uh, that is not something that is unique to that channel. It's actually something that's been going around the, the vinyl collectors, mainly uh, YouTube channels. And I've actually been thinking about uh, giving that a try myself, because uh, I've got, you know, thanks to the windfall of uh, vinyl records that I inherited from my sister and my brother-in-law, I've got well over 50 that I have never listened to, uh, probably even 100. I could even do a 100 album challenge. So yeah, I'm probably going to do that, and I might actually even just very quickly do a video about each one, possibly. So uh, don't hold me to that. Uh, you know, I, I'm not promising anything, but uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm very much considering doing that. So yeah, the the 50 album challenge. Go look that up on YouTube and check out Channel 33 RPM. It's a good channel. And also another YouTube channel that I have been watching 
uh, for quite a while now, though uh, inconsistently, is Vinyl Collector James. Uh, this is a guy in, I think he's in Texas, I'm not sure, but uh, one of his videos, his most recent video actually, is called 1979, Music's Greatest Year Ever. And being that 1979 is one of the years in my Backtracks uh, segments right now, it is the, what is it, 40, yeah, the 40th anniversary year, I've been spotlighting albums and, uh, you know, mentioning albums in Backtracks from 1979. Of course, I had to watch that video. And uh, it was a, a very, very good video, an amazing video. Some albums that I wasn't aware, at least not yet, uh, were, are celebrating 40th anniversaries this year. So it gave me some ideas about maybe a, a spotlight album or two. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, Vinyl Collector James is really good at what he does. He's, he's very much a, you know, the lo-fi DIY kind of uh, video like mine, you know. Um, but yeah, he's very entertaining, very fun to watch. He's kind of, kind of ASMR in his delivery, you know, just kind of, kind of a laid back, you know, kind of soft spoken, but he's still very interesting to listen to. So, go check out Vinyl Collector James's channel if you haven't yet. It, it's worth watching, and I, uh, I'm a subscriber, and I enjoy pretty much every one of his videos. Uh, w I enjoy him more with every video he puts out. Let's put it that way. So. But anyway, that is the end of my list of topics, and it's probably a good thing because I'm getting tired and I'm losing my, my voice a little bit more. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I appreciate the feedback, whether about this video or anything on my channel or about music in general. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. I invite you to subscribe to my channel as well and check out my past videos to see what you might have missed. I'm also on Twitter, and you can find a link to my Twitter feed in the description below. So check it out and follow along. Also, please take the time to visit my friends and fellow YouTubers' channels, which are also linked to in the description below. They're all great at what they do, and they're very much worth your attention. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.